They say we all want what we can't have, and it would seem that this is the case when it comes to skin color. Many people strive to alter their skin color in some way, believing that certain qualities are attached to different races. Meet Buyani, a 22-year-old male living in Joza Grahamstown, has used skin lightening cream for the past six years. I speak to him to try and uncover how being lighter has changed his life. Skin lightening creams, they do the most incredible job because w when you're dark, people tend to like, oh God, why is she or he like that? And they're like, oh my God, I don't want to be like so black. Have people started treating you differently the lighter that you've got? At first, they didn't like notice me. They were saying all kind of things about you black and you, you, you not, you're not looking good and stuff. Now that I'm lighter, they're like, what are you using now? Is it fair to say that you want to be white? It is. It's what I want to be like, you know? It's not what I'm ashamed of. Would you still carry on using skin lightening creams even if you knew that there were severe risks involved? I would because I'm, I'm going to look good. And what do you think about the fact that white people are using things like sunbeds to get darker, black people are using things like skin lightening creams to get lighter. It's such a good thing because you, the, the white people want to get dark, it's not a problem. If you want to get dark, then go, go dark. If I want to get white, then I'll go whiter. I'll go white as a snow if there's a thing that's going to make me white as snow. Even if it means possibly shortening your life? Even if it does. One in three South Africans use skin lightening creams. Antibiotic creams such as Movate, which are intended for medicinal use, are being used as skin lighteners with detrimental effects. I went undercover to see if this cream is marketed as a skin lightener. Although the cashier warned me of the danger, she still sold it to me. Dr. Derek Udendal explains the risk of using Movate over a long period of time. Skin thinning, it has, has definitely has that as a documented side effect. Although this is a weak cream, it probably will take a long time, but that is definitely a documented side effect where the skin thins out, which makes the blood vessels underneath the skin closer to the surface, making it more transparent. You'll see little veins and so forth visible on the surface. Uh, you can also get uh, an acne-like uh, eruption from the abuse of a cream like this. Yeah, I, th I think this is definitely not something you would want to use on a long-term basis at all. Only 20 of hundreds of sunscreens available in South Africa have listed their products with the Cancer Association of South Africa. Added to this, South Africa has the second highest rate of skin cancer in the world. Yet people still want to be tanned, even knowing the risk. I think we all feel that we look better with a darker colour. Uh, we feel that we look healthier. Um, I personally also always feel that Brown fat looks better than white fat. Um, and yeah, I think that's really why we all want to have a little bit of colour. Sunbeds increase your chance of cancer by a staggering 75%. Yet people such as Robin Pina continue to use them. You know, we're always striving to look better and feel better. And having, you know, the tanned skin gives you that Caribbean look and just make, well, makes me feel a lot better about myself. Is life easier when you're more tanned? <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. The clothing options are more diverse because you're not covering up, you know, unsightly skin or, you know, whatever. You can be confident in exposing yourself a little bit more. And what do you think about the fact that black people are striving to be lighter, white people are striving to be darker or more tanned? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It just shows how no one's ever happy with what they have. And I think it's, it's interesting how we want to be darker and they want to be lighter and they would probably be happy to be us and we'd probably be happy to be them but then if it was like that we wouldn't be happy anyway. Are you aware of the risks of a sunbed? Look in my opinion we're gonna die anyway might as well die happy. And what advice would you give to somebody who is a little bit pale, wants to look a little bit more sun-kissed and doesn't have the time to tan in the sun? Um, don't start on the sunbed. I would. I, I wouldn't let my child start on the sunbed. I think there is an addictive quality to it. So is it fair to say you're addicted to sunbedding? I'd say so. I'm addicted to being tanned, so I'll get it any way I can. Um, you know, probably in the same way that a drug, druggie needs his next fix.